Okay, this video is about right triangle trig part two, and this is where we're going to focus on how do you find a missing angle using Sokotoa. All right, very simply, it's set up the trig, solve the trig. But this time, we're going to use something that is called inverse trig. Make sure your calculator is set to degree mode because the angles we want to write in a degree measure. Okay? Uh, so here we go. Find the measure of each angle indicated. Round to the nearest tenth. No problem. All right. So I've got my Sokotoa. Okay. I see theta right there. That's the angle. Now, in relation to theta, I know that this side is opposite and this side is adjacent. That's telling me to use the tangent function. So I'm going to write the trig now. It says the tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now, to find theta, we have to use a special function that we're only going to use whenever we have to find an angle. And that is something called inverse trig. Inverse trig, use that inverse notation. And we have 14 divided by 12.6. Now again, they say round to the nearest tenth. So let's go to the calculator now and let's see how this works. All right, so I've got the inverse tangent. To get to the inverse tangent, I'm going to go second tangent. And you can see... It comes up as tangent with that inverse symbol. That's what we call inverse tangent. All right. Uh, we have to take 14 divided by 12.6. Close that off. And we're going to round to the nearest tenth, which would be 48.0 degrees. All of this should be a review for you guys from geometry. All right, but I thought it would be good to just kind of break it down. In pre-calc, they are just going to fly through all this review of right triangle trig in about a 20, maybe 30-minute session. So we got to know it inside and out here. All right? So on this problem, again, we're going to look at Sokotoa. All right? And where's our reference? There's our reference angle. From that angle, we know that 6 is the hypotenuse, and 3.7 is adjacent. So adjacent hypotenuse, that's the kaka. I'm going to write the cosine of theta is equal to adjacent, 3.7, over the hypotenuse. So therefore, theta would be the inverse cosine of 3.7 divided by 6. We're going to find theta and round to the nearest tenth. So this would be second cosine. 3.7 divided by 6. And we get 51.9 degrees. All right. Hopefully it's pretty easy. Just a couple more to make sure that we're all good. Okay. So let's go with uh, Sokotoa. From theta right here, 5 would be opposite. 14.1 would be hypotenuse. That's the so or the sine function. Write the trig. Sine of theta is equal to 5 divided by 14.1. And again, because we are finding an angle measure, we're going to solve this by using inverse trig. In this case, it would be the inverse sine of 5 divided by 14.1. And then we're going to round to the nearest tenth. Inverse sine, second sine. And 5 divided by 14.1. Close that off, equals, round to the nearest tenth, so this would be 20.8, 20 20.8 degrees. All right, let's do one more. Sokotoa. All right, from theta, 6.3 is opposite, 
9 is adjacent. That's telling me TOA or tangent. So the tangent of theta is 6.3 over 9, which means theta is going to be the inverse tangent of 6.3 over 9. Round theta to the nearest tenth. So I have the inverse tangent, second tangent of 6.3 over 9. And round that to the nearest tenth. Now this would be 34.99, which is going to round to 35.0. 35.0 degrees. All right. I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions.